Oh. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> hello. Um, it's your friend BJ. I am in Seoul, Korea, and it turns out my first night I accidentally booked a love hotel. <laughs> Here's the view from my room. Last night it was raining cats and dogs, um, but today it seems pretty okay. I'll be riding about as far as I can. <laughs> um, and I need to buy some stuff from a bike shop before I ride. Here's a shitty flat lay of my stuff. <laughs> so that's my clothes and medicines. That's my tech and daily thingies. And that is my bum bag, which has my wallet and passport. And those are shoes. Flames. And it turns out I forgot to pack a helmet. Go PJ. So <clears throat> I need to find a helmet. Yo. Your friend BJ, the parking lot of the Love Hotel. Here's the bike unpacked. Bike is now packed. Ta da! Clubs, shoes, speaker, fix kit, front gear, raincoat, hammock, iPad, bum bag. Okay, so I'm at the start of the official Four Rivers ride and um, I need to get myself a checkpoint passport because apparently on the ride there are like little stamps so you can go like and I'm a fiend for that stuff but I'm also very bad consistently collecting that stuff so see where to get it really strange area it's just like Built up and abandoned almost, so it just seems really empty. All these huge buildings that are just empty. Yeah, so I've finally found the um oh my place is so dark. The place that has the passport. It costs like four thousand five hundred one and you get a map. And they have espresso, how good. And the passport's pretty cool. Uh, it's got all these spots that you can stand and also have maps inside it well, and I guess at the end you get like a special stamp or whatever and congratulations the map is in Korea sort of oh no there's a bit of English so I am there and I will be riding Okay, I'm not too sure. Oh, I'm already confused. <laughs> um, hmm. Anyways. <laughs> I'll be riding down there. Basically, I think I just followed the Han River. This is the start of the monumental adventure. BJ's, your friend BJ's. Korean food bike odyssey and here is the first checkpoint and they're all really cute they're like little tardises and um now where I am now is here and I'll be riding to there which is Busan and then I'll catch a ferry to Jeju Island, which is known for beef. Um, and I'll ride around it. Then come back. And then hopefully, if I have time, I'll um, ride the East Coast Road. And then, from there, I can go a little bit further north to the DMZ. Oh! And then from there, I will go back to Seoul to get a facial and see my friend Ethan. Hello. So at every point, there's like a little stamp station. This is super cute. Oh my god. So I can stamp my little passport. Woo! 
Stamps. 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 Yeah, it's stuck. Six hundred thirty three kilometers. Here we go. Super cool. There are bike fixy uppy spots along the ride. Yeah. They even sell single diaries. <laughs> he used a stethoscope to check the brakes. Oh, just got my bike serviced for 20,000. I don't know if that's, I don't know what anything costs here. I think I'm always getting fleeced. Antonida, thank you. Nice guy though. Um, I'm sure in Sydney it would have cost me an arm and a leg, so whatever. Your friend BJ. I'm at a beautiful riverside gym. I gotta say this place has it all. Twisty thing. Leg press. It even has bench press machines. And in my mind, I'm like, why don't we have these in Sydney? And the best bit is, it's full of like oldies, which is sort of cool. They're staying fit and healthy. Also check these out. They're these tipping machines. <laughs> Another thing, they have all of these fantastic hula hoops. This chick is a hula hoop queen. She's been doing it for like 15 minutes straight. And I can only do it for like five seconds. God, tragic. There are all of these quirky rest stops along the way. It's for the most mental views. Let's get something to drink. Annyeong. There's even a table that you can sit down at. I'm gonna ask if they have any food. Ketchup, ketchup. Ketchup, wow, yummy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes. I ordered a ham and cheese sandwich and I got an omelette sandwich. <laughs> How good. They just sprinkled sugar onto it. Interesting. The bread is so sweet. I think there's egg in the omelette and there's some greens. So maybe I'll poop. Mmm. And also there's a sandwich in a cup which is pretty lit. A chubby. <laughs> Infrastructure, bike tunnel, very refreshingly cool, which I like 
because I'm fucking dying. It's so hot. Random train. Certification center. Am I at the station? Nungne station. I found this very strange pushy thing. It's on train tracks. And it moves. <laughs> Trains. S tier transport. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Look how pretty this is. Yeah. The best bit is in the shade, it's nice and cool. But in the sun, it's fucking hot. Another super dope thing. Oh, by the way, I burst a tire. Ugh. Um, check this out. Tire refill center. And they got an air gun. <laughs> um, but they also have different size pumps, which is really nice. I'm starting to feel a bit knackered, so I don't know if I should stop here or go to the next big city. Yangpyeong. That's where we are now. And then Yeojubo. It's the next big one. It doesn't really say how far it is. So everything I have run has run out of battery, which has been really nice actually because I sort of stop and ask people stuff, but I have this really weird crappy map. It's half in English, but no, well, I'd say 10% English and 90% Japan, uh, Korean. Um, but I'm here and that's Ipopo. I want to go to Yoju. And apparently, so number seven, so we're at number seven. Number seven, so 16, so it's 30 k's away. And it's 6.30. I think that's doable. I just need a soda. Let's go. Yo, <clears throat> so it seems like love hotels are the go. Oh my God, my head looks like a peanut. Ah! Love hotels are the go, so I'm saying it. Nine boutique hotels September. <laughs> Lit. $50,000 for a night, but TBH, flatty, AC, big bed, oh, a rock hard bed, cookies and coffee, what's good, slippers, and shower, like, what more could you want? And 50000 I'm not too sure what that, I think that's like 75 bucks. Math. Yo, I don't know if this is necessarily the case, but it seems like lots of places here are all about eating and sharing food with people, so I saw someone do that once. Yeah, a little challenge for the DJ traveling by himself, but I got myself a kimchi soup. And got bits of pork. Both spicy out, kimchi. Which I think would be great because I'm sort of feeling under the weather to be honest. Um, I'm gonna get a beer. Mm. Carbs. Pickle. Pickled kimchi fried cucumber. I try to make this at home. I'm so bad at it. Very nice post dried and also sick boy food. Mm. Mm. 